doing that without getting hit once it'd be well a kid always impossible. wanted to compete in the bullhead trial no you didn't that was not fun let's see onward The Langston River flowed free and wild till the calamity drank it all up. Maybe all that water just grew wings and flew off. Swarming with windbags. They're so bent on finding the core, they hardly notice the kid. Lucky for him, a certain famous fairy barge is still afloat. Weeping Nelly. She sends some squirts crying home as she leaves port. Maybe Nelly knows the way to the core. Maybe she can slip right past all the clamor on the coast. Or maybe not. The security skiff pulls up portside. Nelly's just another windbag to those guns. Just then, the windbags notice who she's sailing with. Try to cut her off. Oh, they try to slow her down. They try to knock her out. Well, Weeping Nelly tries harder. Try as she might though, she hits a snag. Kids gotta help her get untangled. Favors for favors. At least she picked a good spot for a break. The core is right there. Where? <laughs> Don't see it. Yeah, I might change it. Leave it as it is. yet. He finds a weeping Nelly raring to go. Oh, these are mine. Okay. Turns out she's got a special surprise for when the waters get rough. Cool. Uh, we should get going. She's gonna need a little help with all them pickers. Crafty things think they're king of the roost now. The rest of us only wish we could fly in times like these. Security skiffs keep on coming, starboard side. 
don't seem to care what they shoot, as long as they hit something. Why go to Prosper Bluff? Used to take an enterprising man, or a plain old fool, to venture out that far. The city was the most beautiful place in the world. We all knew that. But on the other hand, some folks just yearn to see the things they're told they can't. And that's Ooh, why you go to hell? Prosper Bluff, ain't it? Uh, guess I have to go through it. There we go. There, the kid hears something he ain't heard in a long while. Dang, these things are getting narrow. How's it go again? Yeah, that's the one. person singing or if that's just the, the game being ambient. Let's 
Seems got such a good soundtrack. Well, no point explaining what happens next, right? Suffice it to say, kid ain't coming home empty-handed. The Hidebound Journal. Memento. Worn up, handwritten, and traditional era script. Admin. The scrawled notes. The book contains various indecipherable scientific diagrams, drawings, and mathematical formulae. Very well. And besides, it's like the song goes. Oh, there's a person that was singing. They'll be here before too long. Darn near celebrated when the kid got back, didn't we? Zolf never thought he'd see a fellow her again. We become fast friends. Calamity has that effect on people. But there was more to be done. There was one last core to find. A scientific journal written in Zolf's native tongue. He learned so much from it. Too much. If only I'd known half the secrets of the Calamity were tucked away in that book, I'd have worked to translate it right away. Most of the Ura never got a taste of Ceylandia's fine goods. Unless they were born and raised in the city like Zia here. Girl tried to run away from home one time, but the marshals stopped that, didn't they? So many secrets in there and she can't even read it. Her father's own journal. No, that belongs to Zia's father. And we can get a new distillery now. Actually, I will go buy one from the lost and found, I think. Hold more life, more damage. Let's go with extra damage. Finders keepers. Now, whale ale ain't made from real whale, but it'll make you strong like one. 
That'll do it. Let's go on. 